Good morning, modern steaders. Gonna be boiling some more sap this morning. But first, I want to get the wood cook stove going. And luckily, we have a whole bunch of kindling left over from yesterday's video. So now we got some kindling. Yesterday afternoon, I went out and I collected around 10 gallons of sap. This time, I saved all the ice. That whole ice theory seems to be kind of controversial. The ice theory I'm talking about is if the water's frozen, there's not as much sugar in it. And a lot of people left a bunch of links, and it seems kind of almost like 50-50. Some people say yes, some people say no. And I do know we didn't get any extra syrup out of that boil. I probably threw away a couple of gallons, I would say, of ice, and I still only ended up with a 40 to 1 ratio of syrup. So today, yesterday, I saved the ice, and today we're going to boil it. one and it's only 26 degrees out so I want to keep the propane tank inside hopefully that'll help keep it from freezing up or at least freezing up so quickly boom now just by watching how much ice came out of that bucket from sitting outside last night yeah I'm gonna say that whole frozen sap thing isn't true and David Johnson left it in the comments made a lot of sense he said if you ever had a popsicle that's frozen there's a lot of sugar in that that makes sense so I don't think we'll be throwing away any more frozen sap Set our timer and see how long it takes to boil it today that it's frozen. Hey, blow it out, stay over here. I have a piece of metal right here. Let's see, we're 11 minutes in. All the ice is gone, and it's starting to lightly boil. I'm gonna leave the cover on until it's at a rolling boil, then we'll take the cover off and leave it off. Maybe this will help us save some propane and heat it up faster. It's worth a try. 20 minutes in. And we got a good boil going. Leave that on there for a few more minutes. So even though quite a bit of that 10 gallons of sap was frozen, we were still able to get it up to a boil in, under, or in 20 minutes. So that's amazing, that works awesome. Our propane tank's not completely full either. It's almost out, I would say, so that's not helping. I think if we had a full tank, we could have got to a faster boil quicker, but I'm still happy with a 20 minute boil time for 10 gallons and say three or four gallons of it was frozen. That's pretty impressive. The wind started picking up, so I needed a wind deflector. So I was glad I still had my plow right there for the tractor. It's working pretty good. But the wind's blowing hard that way today. 
we had a fellow modern stetter contact us and say, hey, I have a website and we sell Amish made products. I'd like to send you a star. So we got to pick one out. We're gonna put it on the outdoor kitchen. This is the one we chose, it's Amish made. So it was painted to order. It came together in the fins stacked on top of each other. Me and Olivia yesterday assembled it. And then on the back, it has like a clasp. Let's see, get it away from the sun. To hang it, since ours is going in the outdoor kitchen or on the outside of the outdoor kitchen, I drilled a hole in it because I don't want the wind getting it flying it off somewhere and then we'd have like a nunchuck flying around the homestead. So I drilled a hole in it. I got a stainless steel screw and I'm going to screw it up on the outdoor kitchen. Go higher. <coughs> yeah. Can you do it there? Yeah. We are about three hours into boiling the sap. Let's go check and see how we're doing. Realistically, you can't see, but let's turn down the propane for a minute and let's see if we can see anything. All right, I shut the tank off for a minute. We can go in there and look. So when we started, we had 10 gallons. We were up past the temperature gauge. Now we got a little over an inch in the pot. Awesome. Let's turn it back on and start it back up. Gonna bring it right back to a boil. Man, I love that burner. So trying to figure out how efficient we're doing with that propane tank and the burner and the big part. Right now we're right around 15 to 20 bucks per half gallon. So I think that's pretty efficient. We can use just over a tank of propane to get half a gallon of syrup. So 15 to 20 bucks to make half a gallon is pretty good. Um, it takes us one tank, and one tank cost us 15 bucks to get filled up at our local feed store. I just shut it off again, and we're getting down there. It's a half inch on the bottom, so now we gotta be very careful so we don't burn it. We're just about ready. Strain it for the first time into our smaller pot.
We got the wood cook stove up to temperature. Let's stick the syrup sap still, I guess, right on the stove. Two tents. We got eleven more, ten more degrees to go now. We're close. We traded in Olivia this afternoon. Look at say hi. Hi. <laughs> Only if you could smell that. Oh, it smells delicious. We're getting close. 220. We like going to 221. It's crazy. We got 215 and then it dropped up to 220 just like that. If you look at it, boom. It's got that hang. Give it a couple more minutes, but I think we're almost ready. Pull it forward. Ooh, I gotta go run in the house and get some gloves. I don't wanna burn myself taking the pot off. Yeah, we're almost there. Saying it's at 222, so we're gonna pull that off quickly. Getting ready for nap time. So let me grab my roll of towels again. Two by six. Alright, this is what we found works the best. Cheese cloth. I feel like this sap is a lot lighter. Delicious looking. Man, look at that. Let's say we'll get about a little over a pint, maybe a pint and a half. I'm gonna put a regular cannon jar lid on. Get out every last drop that we can. Oh, look at that hanging already. Nice. Gotta kinda be like a kid. 
Look at the cake batter. Olivia's at the movies, so I guess I got it all to myself. Man, that's good. Yep. Awesome. Just shy of two pints. So if you put together the boil we did the other day and this boil, that would make three pints. But I can't get over how light this sap is. This is definitely our lightest sap so far. I just checked when I went inside. The temperature outside is 31. And the temperature in the outdoor kitchen is 69. That is awesome. That little stove's cranking out some heat. What I want to do is I want to write today's date. So it's 3, 10, 18. 3, 8, 18. Just so that way we know which sap we got when. Because look at this. This is today's sap. And this is the other day's sap. Look at the color difference. Exactly what it means. But this is how they grade syrup, is on the colors. And the lighter stuff, more people want, because it's usually sweeter. But that's pretty wild.